everybody. Hope everybody's doing awesome today. My name is Sam Barron, co-founder of Shop the King. Just want to give a quick background. Uh, started my career in 2004, selling on eBay, importing live tropical fish from Southeast Asia, and uh, from there got into the apparel industry. I know there's no correlation there, but I uh, just want to give a little bit of context before I get into this. I uh, spent about 15 years of my career selling on all kinds of different marketplaces, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, have some experience selling on Wayfair and you know the like. Um, in 2020, got together with my best friend Adam, we co-founded Shop the King, which today uh, we have a very successful presence on Alibaba. And my point of my talk today is I want to talk to the brand newest person in here who's maybe not on Alibaba, but you have maybe have experience on, on your own e-commerce site. Um, or you have just some sort of a desire to sell. So I'm gonna be pretty high level today and just wanna just connect again with the brand newest person. So strategy, you know, expanding into a, a new market, what is your objective? What is your goal? You know, when we start with talking about a strategy for any new businesses that we're gonna launch or any new projects that Adam and I roll out together, we start with the end in mind. Where are we trying to go? What's the outcome? Are you trying to find new customers? Are you trying to get into new markets? For our business, very legacy type of business in the distribution industry, we were very confined to geographical locations and limits of our own trucking and distribution. So the, one of the first things that we did was we built out the logistics and the capabilities to ship either direct to consumer or direct to retail. <clears throat> now, when you're setting up products on Alibaba, there's a couple different ways you can do it, and I'll keep this high level. There were a lot of people this whole conference that talked about a lot of details and AI, and there were definitely experts on that subject matter for sure, but keeping it high level, there's kind of two different ways you can set up products on Alibaba that I think is really unique. Uh, one of them is ready to ship products. Ready to ship is no different than if you were doing a listing on an eBay or an Etsy or a, you know an Amazon where a customer could go on to Alibaba.com, find your product, click an order, and it's done. You can do all the optimization and SEO with that product, so on and so forth. For our business, we were trying to consolidate and create a funnel where we could drive traffic to our native website, which we already staff with customer service folks. So for us, we do all of our products on Alibaba.com as customized. The reason that we do that is because we want to create that funnel for people to find our product, and we do advertise on the platform to generate a lot of those leads, and we want to ultimately drive those folks back to our site so that we can service them at the highest level possible. Now, some of the tools that we use, um, you know, if you're a brand new seller in here and you have a large business, maybe you're currently using some form of an ERP system, uh, maybe you have some software tools that you use for multi-channel selling if you're already selling on the sites like Amazon or Walmart. Um, for us, we had a legacy ERP system that didn't really play well with others. Um, so we enlisted a company called Widest Net. They built us a custom kind of middleware business in a box ERP. That, that today is our single source of truth, which we feed back into our main ERP. That feeds our Shopify store, our Amazon storefronts, Walmart, eBay, um, and of course our Alibaba. Um, we also do all of our order fulfillments through that program. Now, as a brand new person selling on Alibaba, I'm actually gonna be one of the first people to tell you that getting into it isn't as straightforward today as it is selling on a, a site like an Amazon, for example. Um, and that's where I think the, the biggest value, if you're a brand newest person coming in here, is connecting with that Alibaba sales rep team that Eric Cross leads. And um, you know those people were really invaluable for us. For us, I, I put Chad on here, and I put his little QR code for his background. Chad was an expert level seller before he was actually working for Alibaba and today he's been kind of our saving grace. We failed a lot on the platform uh, when we started and I hope some of this information I'm sharing with you, some of like our hindsight can be your foresight. Uh, we lost a lot of money in the beginning making silly decisions, trying to figure things out. So hopefully some of these high level ideas will add some value if you're brand new in here. Definitely connect with that sales rep person through that onboarding process, and that's going to be kind of your gateway to really uh, pawing through a lot of the muck and the mire of getting started. Now, again, I talked about creating a funnel, and for us and for our business model, we have a really strong core competency on our own e-commerce sites. We sell on third-party marketplaces, but the goal is not to be a prolific seller on a third-party marketplace. Our goal is to generate that traffic back to our, back to our main hub of our e-commerce because we can service people better there. We have a lot of technology to handle cross-border trade, 
And um, again, we resource it really well. So if a customer, you know, like this afternoon, for example, I got three leads from our Alibaba listings of customers that went right to our e-commerce site, filled out our B2B application. They were approved automatically because of the ERP, you know, technology deployments that we have. And those customers essentially have been pre-vetted and they're ready to purchase and they can shop on our storefront. Uh, so for us, Alibaba is, is that funnel. Alibaba.com is that funnel for us. Um, as a seller, though, I mean, you have responsibilities, and, and the panel that was up earlier with Kevin talked a lot about really creative things that you can do as a seller to engage with your customers and capture those customers, and he talked about protecting that customer list, and I think that added so much value, at least to me, and it should add a lot of value to everyone in here who's coming from that seller component, because again, Alibaba's empowering you to own these customers versus a site like an Amazon, where Amazon makes it very clear that it's an Amazon customer. It's not your customer. And they've got a lot of rules and policies, and if you've been on the receiving end of any of those rules and policies, you probably know what I'm talking about. So, you know, as, that, as a responsibility of a seller, though, it's your job to service your customers. And, you know, when I originally put this deck together, it said, service, service, service. Uh, I think everything comes down to customer service. We are a customer-centric uh, business. We believe in customer service 100%. Uh, because we are a distributor, we don't own any of the brands that we sell. So one of the things that we do to differentiate us is our sales approach with our customer service and our ability to service our customers. So I want to thank everybody for coming out today and for this weekend with this Alibaba.com co-create conference. I know that I got a tremendous amount out of it. I hope that I had value to somebody out here today who's hoping to get on the platform and expand your business or expand your reach or whatever your strategy is. And without further ado, I want to bring back Brett up to wrap up the weekend.